Hello, hello, God bless you. God bless you, brothers and sisters, your sister, uh, princess, once again. Um, just want to come and speak to us here about um, having strength in the Lord. Because um, nothing that you do, nothing that we do is, is by our own strength. The book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10, it says, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. So what the Lord is trying to speak to us here, like, you know, even in the, in the, in the, in the midst of weakness, you're feeling so weak, you're feeling so inadequate, you feel you're not strong enough to do that thing. But the Bible is telling us here, let the weak say, I am strong. Because whatever you do, it is not by your own strength. It is not by your own mind. The Bible says it is not by our mind, not by our power, but by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, says the Lord God of hosts. So it is the Lord that will strengthen you to carry out that assignment. It is the Lord that will strengthen you to go through that walk, that difficult situation. Just when you are about to give up, the Lord will be the one to strengthen you because you're deriving strength from Him. You may even be amazed. You begin to wonder, how did you even get through this? There have been times when I have felt so weak. I have felt so inadequate. Some of the messages that the Holy Spirit gives to me, there are even be times when I have I have even tried to, to, to refuse uh, coming to speak what the Lord is asking me to come speak. But then the Holy Spirit is our strength now. So you may feel you don't know that thing. You may not know what to do. Then you begin to hear that soft voice of the Spirit that will now begin to lecture you, begin to speak to you, begin to teach you what you need to do. That is the voice of strength that I am talking about. That situation probably you are about to just give up on that marriage. You are about to give up on that business. You are about to give up on even just prayer life, your spiritual life. Then all of a sudden from nowhere, you might even begin to hear fast for one day. Sometimes that instruction that you receive to just fast for one day, that is all you need to strengthen you for the rest of the year. You understand? The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. So instead of accepting defeat, you need to begin to walk in dominion. Instead of just laying down, let the enemy beat you down, make you feel just worthless. You need to begin to speak strength into your life. You begin to say to yourself, I am strong in the name of Jesus Christ. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Because truly, it is Christ that strengthens you. It is the blood of Jesus that strengthens you. Bible says he was bruised for our transgressions. So, for all whatever sin that is weighing you down, whatever you just look at you, you oh my God, um, you, 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 you may even be homeless. You may not know where your next meal is coming from. You may not know where your next uh, uh, little money is coming from to go buy this, go pay the rent, go pay the bills. But the Bible is saying to us here, instead of accepting weakness, begin to proclaim strength into your life. Begin to proclaim healing into your life. Begin to say, I am healed in Jesus' name. Even though you are not feeling well at that moment. Let the weak say, I am strong. I pray may the Lord Almighty strengthen you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May this message bring you strength. Bring you hope. Begin to direct you and lead you. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever has beaten you down in recent times, may the Lord God of hosts help you to overcome that thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Every barrier that the enemy is putting in your way to prevent you from moving forward, may the Lord Almighty strengthen you to go over it, go past it, and reach your victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive strength in Jesus' name. Receive healing to your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the right counsel in the name of Jesus Christ. 
The Lord Almighty will favor you. The Lord Almighty will strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Once again, Happy New Week. My name is Princess from Princess Eweka Ministries. Uh, you can follow me right here on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, Princess Eweka Ministry, and on Facebook page, Holy Spirit Worship. God bless you. Please hit the subscribe button right underneath this. And may the Lord Almighty bless you for doing that. Amen. Be strong in the Lord. It is not over until it is over. God bless you. I love you with the love of Christ. One love.